dear friends welcome to the next problem of belt drive that problem number 6 the data of the problem is like this a counter shaft is to be driven at 240 rpm from a driving shaft rotating at 100 rpm by an open belt drive the diameter of the driving pulley is 480 mm the distance between the center lines of shafts is 2 m find the width of the belt to transmit 3 kw of power if the shaft permissible stress in tension is 15 newton per millimeter width of the belt tech mu is equal to 0.3 dear friends let us prepare the diagram for the given condition here this is a uh, driving pulley and we denote the diameter is equal to d1 and this is a driven pulley we denote its diameter is equal to d2 and it is connected by an open belt drive the speed of driving pulley n1 is given 100 rpm n2 speed of the driven pulley is given 240 rpm diameter of the driving pulley d1 is given 480 mm converting into meter that is equal to 0.480 meter the center distance between two pulleys c with this point and this point is given 2 meter writing in millimeter is equal to 2000 mm power transmitted by the drive p is equal to 3 kw that is 3000 watt the permissible tension stress in tension of the belt f is equal to 15 newton per millimeter of width the belt <coughs> the coefficient of friction mu is given 0.3 and we have to calculate the width of the belt here to calculate the width of the belt we need to know the maximum load acting on the belt so we have to calculate tight side tension of the belt that we denote by t1 and we know the relation for this as the power transmitted by the system is given we can write power p is equal to difference of two tensions tight side tension t1 minus slack side tension t2 into the peripheral velocity of the belt v and hence putting the values we found that p is equal to given 3000 watt t1 minus t2 into peripheral velocity v is given by pi d1 n1 divided by 60 substituting the values we found 3000 is equal to t1 minus t2 into in bracket pi d1 is equal to 0.480 into n1 is equal to 100 divided by 60 and hence we found the difference of tensions tight side tension minus slack side tension t1 minus t2 is equal to 1193.6 newton let us say this is relation number 1 now we know that another relation of two tensions tight side tension and slack side tension the ratio of these two that is t1 upon t2 is given by 
e raised to mu theta where mu is the coefficient of friction and theta is the angle of lap and here angle of lap is given here is this on driving side is theta is equal to 180 degree plus twice beta this side beta and this side beta while on the driven side the angle of lap theta is equal to 180 degree minus 2 beta this side beta and this side beta so in this case <clears throat> as it is a open wheel drive we have to consider the least angle of lap and we have to take this theta that is 180 minus 2 beta so theta is equal to 180 degree minus 2 beta where beta is given by sin inverse of r1 minus r2 upon c where capital r1 is the radius of driving pulley and r2 is the radius of driven pulley so to calculate theta we need diameters of both the pulleys hence it can be calculated from the given speed ratios we know the relation for the speeds n2 divided by n1 is equal to d1 upon d2 and gives diameter d2 is equal to d1 into n1 divided by n2 substituting the values of this three which is which are known to us 480 into 100 by 240 that gives diameter d2 is equal to 200 mm hence we find the radius r1 is equal to d1 by 2 that is 480 divided by 2 that is 240 mm while radius r2 is equal to d2 divided by 2 that is 200 divided by 2 equal to 100 mm substituting this values in the relation for beta of this so we find beta is equal to sin inverse of 240 minus 100 divided by center distance 2000 and that gives is 4.01 degree so theta is equal to 180 degree minus 2 beta and substituting values of beta we found 180 minus 2 into 4.01 that is equal to 171.98 degree this gives the angle of a lap now <clears throat> converting this angle of lap which is in degree into radian we found theta is equal to 171.98 into pi divided by 180 radian so that gives us 3.0 radian now <clears throat> substituting this value of theta and mu in the relation of t1 and t2 that t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta is equal to e raised to mu is 0.3 and theta we calculated in radian is 3 upon calculation we found t1 upon t2 is equal to 2.46 so we can write t1 is equal to t2 into 2.46 that gives us 2.46 t2 let us say this is relation number now substituting this value in relation 1 so we found this 2.46 t2 minus t2 is equal to 
93.6 newton and hence 1.46 d2 is equal to 1193.6 and finally we calculate d2 is equal to 817.5 newton now from relation 2 we found t1 is equal to 2.46 t2 substituting values of t2 it is 2.46 into 817.5 gives value of t1 is equal to 2011.05 newton now the maximum allowable tension in belt given f is equal to 15 newton per millimeter of width so <clears throat> we can write that t1 is equal to width that is denoted by b into permissible stress f so b is equal to t1 upon permissible stress f substituting the values of both t1 and f it is 2011.05 divided by 15 gives us 134.07 millimeter so finally we can write that so the width of the belt is 134.07 millimeter thank you